Hi, I'm Jeff. This is Mark. We're here today to show you how we're going to install a Maradine boat heater. Mark, why don't you tell them why it is we even want to put a boat heater in the boat? Well, basically, if you're anyone like us, you want to extend your water ski season as long as possible, whether that be in the fall or starting off in the spring. So what we'd like to do is get a heater in there, and once you get out of the water, you can hold the heater or get it on your feet and really warm up. Another thing is, is that even if you're not a water skier, these heaters come in very handy for the average boater. You know, who wants to put your boat away when it gets cool in the evening? Wouldn't it be nice to be able to go out and cruise around a little bit? Absolutely. Put a heater in, you extend your season. Okay, now we're here in the boat. We're going to show you exactly how to install the Maradine heater in your boat. Mark's going to show you the steps as I talk you through it. So let's get started. We're going to start off by locating the two spots on the motor where we're going to install the heater hoses that will circulate the water from the motor up to the heater core itself. Maradine provides all the parts necessary. So we'll locate those two spots, which Mark will point out to you. We'll back out the plugs and we'll install the parts that Maradine has provided that allow for the installation. Now that our two plugs are out, we'll take the two brass fittings that Maradine has provided that fit right into the, the spots we just removed the plugs from. In order to make a nice watertight seal, you'll want to take and put Teflon tape along the threads before threading them in, and then snug them down. For the next step of the install, we've already taken and we've run the heater hoses through the hull of the boat up to where we're going to be mounting the actual heater unit itself. It's a very easy process. Every boat has an area through the hull from the engine compartment to a central location where you can easily pull them through. So we've run them through. We're now going to pull them the rest of the way and make the connection at the motor. At this point, it's important to note that it does not matter which hose goes on which fitting. The unit is designed so that the water can circulate either way through it. So don't be concerned with which one goes to which port. Once the heater hoses are secured on, we'll move on to the actual mounting of the unit. And in this boat, we've chosen a mounting location that is the factory location. For this boat, what we've opted to do is we've decided to put the two heater outlets in the kick panel at the driver's feet. Many of the manufacturers already have predetermined locations for it. In this boat, one of them goes into the kick panel. You have the option of putting the second one in as well. So what we've decided to do is we've drilled into our board already to, with a four inch hole saw to create the opening. And then we'll simply cut the, the carpeting to allow us to install the heater vents. Now that we have our holes cut, we'll go ahead and install the two heater outlets. You simply slide in and we're all set. Now what we'll do is we'll take this back into the boat, we'll make our connections for the heater, make our electrical connections, and you'll have heat. For the purpose of this installation, we're going to go ahead and show you how to connect everything to the actual heater core itself prior to mounting it. it makes it a lot easier to mount in the location we've chosen. So we're going to start by simply putting the actual mounting brackets on the sides of the unit that are provided with the kit. One goes on each side. There are four bolts that will secure it in. The mounting brackets are adjustable. It's a good idea to know that wherever you choose to mount this, if you're going to mount it onto a, a carpeted surface or whatever, mount it about a quarter inch off of the surface. That will allow for complete airflow around the unit. Okay, now that we have our mounting plates on, the next step will be to, on the back side of the actual heater unit, you'll see two brass areas where our heater hoses will attach. You'll want to remove the caps that are protecting them and simply attach the heater hoses that you ran through the bilge area to the engine. Again, keep in mind it does not matter which heater hose goes to which one of the, uh, the heater ports. Attach them and then you'll want to tighten them down. Next thing we'll do is we'll actually make our connections for where the 
heat is going to be blowing out of the unit from the two front ports. And we'll make those connections to the vent areas that we had previously cut. To do this, just simply take the expandable hose that's provided with the Meridine kit, cut it to length that you need, and simply attach it. Once you make the connection at the other outlet point, now you have both of the, your, your expandable tubes connected to the actual heater. Then you can connect them to the vents that are actually mounted on the kick panel. Now that we've got everything reinstalled, we'll show you where we, uh, we hooked it into an existing switch that was on the dashboard. Simply toggle it on and our heater is on. Toggle it off and it's off. We're ready for a day on the lake. Well, we have Mark here and as you can see, he's primed and ready to ski. So let us show you one quick feature before we wrap everything up. You'll think this is a really cool feature. With this one heater port, you can actually pull it out. It expands out. You can give it to your skier or whoever happens to be in your boat to warm themselves up. They can stick it right down into their wetsuit, stay nice and warm. And when they're all done with it, they can hand it right back and it'll go nicely right back in to the spot that it came out of. Okay, Mark, we've completed putting the Meridine heater in. How long did it take us? Yeah, Jeff, it only took about two to three hours maximum to get this unit installed in our boat. And again, we didn't need any special tools. All of the parts were supplied by Meridine with the kit that was purchased. So now we're ready to have a great day on the lake. Uh, it's important to note that, again, you need to now winterize this heater when you winterize your boat. It's as simple as removing the two lines that are connected to the motor, blowing through them to blow the excess water out, and reconnecting them. That way it won't freeze. A few great ideas for when you use this heater are that you can pull it out and hand it over to the people who are sitting in the passenger's area when you install it under the driver's compartment as we did. One of the things that we like to do is keep one for your feet and then all is one that you can pull over to your friends. And another thing we'll do is we'll pull it up over the dash and it actually works great as a defroster for those early, early morning ski runs. Again, while we're skiers, Keep in mind, this Meridine heater will work in any inboard type boat with an inboard motor. It's important to utilize it for, for extending your season. That's what it's all about. Have a great time in the water.